Yo guys, welcome to my Trails of Cold Steel side quest guide, Many Hands Make Light Work, and quest guide, Elbel Highway Monster. I put both of these together because they're in pretty much the same area, so might as well just make one video out of it. So here we go. So to start, you want to go to Wet Tia's store, and then talk to the Orbment guy. And he's going to say he's got a ton of lights that need uh, changing, need fixing. They all went out at the same time. Monsters going crazy, tourists having issues going, navigating their way through that area. So he's asking us to fix them all. So he's going to give us a bunch of light bulbs and a key for them all. Don't have to remember any codes for this. And uh, yeah, we'll head there. There's going to be a small cutscene when you go out in that area. If it's your first time, I think it's part of the story. So enjoy. We'll see you guys after the cutscene. So here's the map of where all the light stations are. It'll be on your mini map as well with the quest markers and then some treasure so we're just gonna go and change some lights uh, I read the few, first few dialogue things and then I was like alright that's the same thing so it's just like boom change the light boom you gotta be efficient use turbo mode make use of turbo mode so he's just gonna say we change the light yay us give us each other a high five alright we're good let's uh, let's move on there's been a lot of dialogue in the game at this point so we're just going to run up to the next one, which is just Magical. up here. You have to wait for him to stop talking or you can't click on it. So yeah, we'll see. And then boom, there we go. So you can exchange that lamp. Get another uh, light fixed up. We can actually see again. And then we're going to run up to the next one. I would recommend fighting monsters and stuff too, just to, is that you know, just? get some EXP and stuff. I also recommend having accessories on your characters that prevent faint. Because there's going to be a couple fights where you're, uh, it's really annoying. I managed to power my way through them, but it will definitely make those fights a lot easier. So we're just checking out the map here, seeing where we're going. So we're going to head here. So here's the treasures and the locations of the lights. And then the green dots, the quest guy for the monster killing thing. So we're just going to do what we were doing before, just uh, change these lights out. The boss fight's not bad, but I had issues with it because I didn't have immunity to faint. And it just made it so you guys couldn't have a turn. They took like crits all the time. It was just annoying. But the monsters are really slow, but we'll worry about that when we get to the fight. So they're just saying, all right, we're halfway done. Let's just uh, get along here, change this light out too. As you can notice, my clicking is uh, sped up exponentially. Making use of that turbo mode, running around real quick. So we'll exchange that one. This quest seems like there's a lot of things, but it's not too bad. So once you fight that little monster, there's going to be a battle chest, I'll call it. A bunch of monsters in it. Really easy fight. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is right now. Just use an S-break that hits the whole screen and they're all dead. There we go. Just got a black screen here for a second. Game's got to load and catch up. And bam, everything's dead. You got your accessory. You're good to go. It's that easy. Whoops. Your Abyss Shadow. I don't know what it does, but... Yeah. So now we're just... We still got five more... Uh, lamps to change out here and another treasure so we're gonna exchange that lamp and then I think this one now we have to treasure might be one more lamp first yep there's one here and then we'll get the treasure those monsters are like really tanky but they're not too bad so you want to take like the left path or the middle I guess and he decided to get me and then there'll be a chest right in front here it's harder to see in the fog, so you got Terra Bomb. And then we're just going to turn around. We got a couple more lights to get. We got three lights to get, and then we got a little mini boss. I'll exchange the lamp. And then we got another one. I kind of got a little uh, confused where I was going here, but. Next lamp, and then we got one more. Unos. And then we'll just set up here. Boom. 
We can change the lamp. Now we'll go back and kill the boss. We're just like, okay, we got them all changed. That's kind of like your quest queue. Now we're going to head back and fight the big monster. So make sure you have your gear that prevents your guys from fainting. It'll help a lot. There's like a little uh, land shark thingy. There's going to be two of them. Watch out. This is a tough one. My turn. They're very, very slow and you can delay them. I didn't really delay a whole lot. Let's do this. I just buffed up and uh, well. kind of just went to town on them. Have my way with them. They have attacks that when they hit you with physical attacks, they uh, leech that HP back as well. So I like to hit you for 2,000, it'll heal for 2,000. So just be aware of that. And apparently they're weak against water. I never tried that, but you can freeze them really easy. I kind of just like buffed up and went to town on them. Pop and S breaks and stuff. I found that the easiest way. So the first attack there is guard. I'll just do commentary for the fight now. So there's the faint. It's really annoying. So do autumn leaf cutter. Okay, I guess I did a little bit of delaying, but didn't really do much. So since I use her S break, I'm just gonna try to quickly kill one. So he's fainted and it healed him up. I don't know how much, 2,000 or whatever. I didn't even really pay attention to that, to be honest with you. So now I'm trying to figure out what to do. I was like, all right, I'm going to get him in here to pop his S break. Uh, Gale or Guile or whatever his name is. Well, I guess it's not Guile. That's the wrong game. We're talking Street Fighter here. But Gias. There we go. I finally remembered his name. So we'll do that attack. That'll kill the one. Make the fight a lot easier because having two of them chomping you would just be horrible. Like, especially when you don't have immunity to that status effect. But you can kind of see in this fight how annoying it is. Two of my guys are out of fight right now and just can't do anything. So Yusuf just got killed. So we have critical here, so I'm probably going to make use of that. Just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm going to pop an S break. There we go, 7k. And then I'm probably going to... What am I doing here? Am I going to resurrect? Yeah. Little Celestial Bomb. And juice him up. I suppose I should thank you. No time she gets a crit next anyway. So that was a good miss. So we'll do like a good old counter attack there. Now we're going to do an armor breaker. Make him a little weaker. Lower his defense. And then we got him in here. I keep wanting to call him Guile, but it's not Street Fighter. So we're just going to punch him in the face. Nice big slapperino. We got lucky there and fainted him. So this is going to make things easier. But I realized I never had my links set up. So now I have to switch to my links. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the fight. And then after that, you just want to run back to town and turn in the quest. If you guys found this guide helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.